So tomorrow I'll be getting up at 6am to do 100 eBay listings in 24 hours. Now of course if you look down below at the date this was published, indeed if you are watching it on the date it was published, you will know something a little bit familiar about that date. It's actually my birthday, the 6th of February uh, 2019, the 6th of February every year is my birthday and obviously if you've been following the channel for a while, maybe the last two years, you will know that on my birthday I do a reselling challenge. Now, of course, if this is getting uploaded on my birthday, I couldn't have possibly done this challenge on my birthday. So I actually structured it a little bit differently this year and you're fair to call me out on the fact that this can't be a real birthday challenge if I'm not doing it on my birthday. I totally understand that, but it's just the way it's fell this year. So um, essentially this year I wanted to do 100 listings in a day, like I've just said, um, but I wasn't sure whether on my birthday I'd have the stock to do 100 listings in a day, right? So I thought to myself, I've just recently got this huge auction haul. I've got more than enough stock to do this challenge now. So I'm probably best recording it a, you know, a few weeks earlier and then just uploading it on my birthday. This also will be going in my birthday challenges playlist. So if you haven't checked out that playlist, obviously I've done two challenges prior to this. Last year's was 50,000 steps and 50 eBay listings in a day. And the year before that, was was 50 charity shops in a day so I really do like to try and go big with these challenges and I really do push myself so um, yeah I, I have no doubt I can do it tomorrow but it's going to be very very challenging it's going to be very very hard um, so essentially just to give you a very very brief outline because I know I've rambled quite a lot so far in this intro um, but basically I have picked out the items and I have laid them out ready for photography I haven't done any cleaning I haven't taken labels off you know for example or auction stickers and stuff like that I haven't taken any of them off I've not done any photography so the only thing the only bit of prep I've done is literally pick out the hundred items because I had to do that because we were down at my lockup and with the time it takes to get down to the lockup and then sort all the items out there I could not do that all in the same day as photography and actually listing them so logistically I had to kind of do it that way if I was wanting to to get the hundred items done so that's how it's worked that's kind of the, the way I've gone about it and yeah we'll just jump right into this and uh, the next video you will see is of me in the morning uh, probably half asleep and uh, wanting to get on with this challenge. I can't sleep because I'm so excited about the challenge. I'm whispering because my mum and dad are asleep in the other room. Yeah I don't want to get up now because if I get up and turn the fuck photography lights on and everything that's going to wake my mum and dad up way too early, so yeah, um, I'm just going to sit here uh, excitingly waiting for a challenge until 6 o'clock, so yeah, I'll just sit here for two hours, not going to sleep. It's 4.08 or 4.09, it just changed, I'm going to start the challenge. But basically it's a 24 hour challenge, so I've got from 4, well like basically I'll start at 4. So guys, that is the number of active listings um, that I've got before the challenge has started, 1106, and uh, this is the date and time here, 5.54am, 
on the 14th of January 2019. So all my photos are now transferred over to the computer. You can see there's a lot of stuff. There is really a lot of stuff. Probably about an average of three or four photos per item. But a lot of these figures, uh, brand new in the box figures, I've just put two photos on because I don't feel they need more than that. Um, but yeah, you can see some others have got like five photos or six photos. So yeah, probably averages out about three or four photos per listing. Just about to get started in a second. It's just gone six o'clock. So first listing is on. That, uh, that actually only took about two or three minutes. So hopefully um, this won't be too bad. So quick update, um, I have done 26 listings so far, it is now 7.43 so I've done like 26 in what like an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes, something like that. Um, so yeah, pretty good going so far, um, but this way I'll be done quite early so I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So, can anyone guess what number I'm on listing wise? Bear in mind, we are now at 9 o'clock and I've been going straight from when, uh, from about 10 past 6 I think, so almost 3 hours. So yeah, what number listing am I on? Well, I'll tell you, I'm on number 50, I'm halfway there. I've just been, you know, whacking them through, going as quick as I can, while also trying to keep the quality going. Uh, you can see I've, I've listed some good value actually. I've got thirty nine ninety nine item there, twenty nine ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. A lot of like fifteen quid, a lot of ten quids, fifty nine ninety nine there. Nice little value, thirty quid, uh, twenty five, etc. All the way down a few twenty five, twenty nine. So not too bad value. Listed a few auctions just at this last bit here while I was trying to get to the halfway point because auctions are a little bit quicker to list, not as much research and stuff. Um, so they are below a tenner, but they're the only items I ever put on that are below a tenner if they are auction listings. Um, so there were just a few DVDs that I needed to clear and stuff that I'm not going to get much for. But yeah, halfway, it's nine o'clock in the morning. I've got so much time to do this in. I've got another, I think, 70 or 80 items on my computer in terms of photos. So yeah, let's just see what we do today. Hopefully I'll get to 100 once I've got to 100, I'll then assess whether I want to do more or whether I just want to leave it at that. But yeah, um, I'd be also, oh, I'll just flip you around. Also, I've been using all the experience I've kind of uh, gained over the last three and a half years to help me do this challenge. Like the amount of knowledge that I've actually got in my brain is quite incredible because I've not had to do as much research as I first thought because a lot of the items I've ever had myself or you just like kind of gain this psychic ability of what you want to put something on at even if you've never had the item before um, especially in antiques and collectibles that's very true you can kind of know the value of something or know the roundabout value even though you've never had something before so uh, yeah it's been very um, eye-opening to uh, this experience so far and uh, interesting really to put all my knowledge and all my ability and all the skills I've learned over the last three and a half years into practice and uh, into practice with some speed as well so yeah I'll update you in a little bit guys uh, maybe when I'm on maybe when I hit another milestone like 75 or something like that 70 um, but yeah going well so far also just to prove I've done the 50 not that I need to I know you guys will, will know I've done it anyway um, but 1,156, so I was on 1,106 before, so yeah, really cool. So, quick update, uh, it is 10.08 in the morning, and I've finished my 70th listing. Yeah, 70th, you can see. Just listed this vintage Burleyware, hand-painted Art Deco, pan design uh, milk jug and sugar pot. Um, which is a really nice looking item actually. I don't know whether you're going to see that that well in that little photo, but it's a lovely looking little Art Deco piece. So yeah, I listed that for about, well, I listed those two there as a set for 30 quid. So I might be shooting a little bit high on that, but uh, we'll see, you know, if I can get that, that'd be brilliant. It's a lovely little set. So yeah, really nice. Right guys, so um, basically I've done 75 listings now. It's uh, just coming up to half ten, so really, really good progress being made. Um, and yeah, I'm now just doing some steps because I need to get ahead of myself 
on my steps game today um, because that might suffer if uh, obviously I'm doing my listing. So whenever I can during the day, I'm going to try and do a little bit of a break for some steps so I can get my normal 10,000 steps in. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to be able to do over 100 today. Unless there's anything, you know, I don't like counting my chickens before they hatch. So, you know, unless there's any unforeseen circumstances um, that might lead me not to do that. Um, but yeah, certainly if there isn't any of those things or I can get over those things, then I should be able to do uh, you know, the 100, pretty much no trouble. Uh, now, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, this challenge is way too easy for you. You're just taking it all in your stride. Um, well, to be honest, I thought it would be a lot harder. And I don't want to sound like 100 listings in a day isn't hard, because it is. It's been a struggle. Like, you've not seen each me doing each individual listing on this video, and I didn't want to put that in there because it would just be boring. Um, but it has been a struggle. I don't want to make out that it ha has been easy, but it has kind of been easy in a way because I love reselling. So it's kind of, it's easy to do what you love. You know, it's easy to do what you love. So even though it's been repetitive and it's been quite a hard challenge, it's still been quite easy for me just because generally I love reselling. So it's been easy and hard at the same time. Let's just put it that way. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I'm closer to 100. So as you can see, I'm back at it from my break before. Um, I've done about eight listings since my break. And you can see I'm on 83 here. Um, I just wanted to sort of uh, take this moment to say that obviously I'm starting on the brand new and sealed stuff now. Um, so basically what I did was I did all the harder stuff first. Um, basically I did that with most of my photography as well, not all of it, but most of it. And I did that with most of the, the start of the listings. So I got all the hard stuff out of the way. So now it should be a little bit more of a flow um, up to the 100. And then when I get to 100, um, I will have a break for a bit and see if I wanna do any more after that. But yeah. For uh, 11.24, um, 83 listings done, pretty happy with that. So, can you see that there? 95 listings uh, done and we are on 11.49. Um, and I can't be bothered, I've just done like 20 listings in the last... What's that there? Oh, just under an hour, so that's pretty good actually. 20 listings in, in about 50 minutes. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, I can't be bothered doing the last five before lunch, so I'll just do the last five after lunch, and then, oh actually, you know what, I flipped you around. I thought it's probably better for you to see my face, so, um, and then what I'm gonna do is just take a break for a few hours, and then, you know, maybe just before tea time, around tea time, might do a few more listings just to get over that hundred. But yeah, pretty good, pretty happy, pretty pleased with this challenge. I'll have probably completed it by about half one, something like that. You know, after lunch, all the rest of it, you know. So, um, yeah, by about half one, one to half one, um, I'll pretty much be done. So, yeah, um, what can I say? I was pretty good at this challenge. I didn't think I would be. I was very nervous for the challenge. I thought, oh, God, I'm not going to be able to do this one. I really am not going to be able to do it, but... Um, then, like over the last three days in particular, I've really perked up and I've been a lot more positive about it. And uh, I think that's helped no end with, with actually doing it today. So yeah, pretty much there now. I will update you in a little bit. So that is the 100th listing done. And yes, guess what? As always, I surprise myself and I always do things early. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually wait till after lunch. I just thought it's sod it. There's five listings to do. Let's just get them done before lunch, then I can have lunch, safe in my knowledge um, that I'm basically done. So, yeah, 100 listings, yeah! So, yeah, I, oh, and I've recorded all the prices. I think I said this before, why I was recording the prices, but it's basically, uh, if I didn't say it before, it's basically just so I can add them all up and see how much value I've added to my shop uh, from the 100 listings. I'm guessing it's going to be like an average of, 15, 16 quid, something like that, uh, on all these items, like, you know, expressed as an average. Um, there are quite a lot of lower value, sort of this end of the scale, you know, later on. Uh, I started off pretty well, I got some uh, higher value items, as I showed before, but it started to slowly just go to lower value and lower value, and then I did a few low value auctions there, so... Yeah, we'll see. I'll add it up and, and we'll see. But I'm not going to do that yet because I might uh, add on a few more listings later on. So, 
So guys, it's just after lunchtime now and I'm going to end the challenge here. I've done another three more listings since you last saw me at the 100 listings. So I'm on 103 listings. I've also t totaled up the amount of value that I've added to my shop, excluding postage um, from the 103 items. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, worked really, really well today. If you would like to know how long it took me to do the 100 listings, it was give or take in the range of five and a half hours to six hours of pretty intensely focused work. Um, so yeah, I'm probably, I'm guessing that's about 16 or 17 listings an hour, something like that. So, um, you know, quite good going, to be honest. At quite, quite, I was going at quite a weight. Um, but at the same time, you know, it was a long time of, uh, I'll just flip this a bit around here because there's a bit of light there, isn't there? Um, but yeah, so it was quite, um, it was quite intense work. It was quite... I don't like to use the word hard because it wasn't necessarily hard. It's just repetitive. It's just like... You know, you, you've got to keep going with it, keep going. It's not necessarily like really hard work. Like it's not intellectually hard work, but it is very repetitive, very repetitive, very repetitive, very repetitive. So, uh, you know, if you've got that nature to you, and I sort of have got a bit of that nature to me, it is, it's not, too bad you know but when you get into 90 or 95 it starts to become harder and harder so so with that being said i don't think there's anything else i need to say i'm just going to flip you around and we'll have a look at those figures on that sheet of paper and i will tell you the value of uh, that i've added to my shop basically in in about six hours and pretty amazing pretty cool how how much i've added to my shop in, in just uh, you know six hours worth of work or you know i mean with the sorting and with the photography and stuff, I actually picking out the items a, a day ago and with the photography this morning, it's probably more like nine, ten hours worth of work and obviously sourcing them as well. So you, you're probably looking at you about 12 hours worth of work, but still for 12 hours worth of work, it's a good uh, bit of value. So yeah, I will uh, flip you around now and share with you that. So guys, as you can see, these are all the figures. Um, of all the items, like all the individual figures that I listed individual items for. You can see at the top there, I've put excluding postage as well. So, yeah, out of 103 items on, uh, obviously listing 103 items, some, you know, higher priced here, you see 29.99, 59.99, but then a large bulk of them are 9.95, 12.99, 14.99. The average that comes out is about £14.50, something like that. Again, that is an average excluding postage. So the average with postage would be something like for, uh, £14.50 plus like £4 postage uh, as an average on the postage. So uh, my average sale with postage would be about sort of £17-£18. My average sale excluding postage from this would be about £14.50, which is okay. That's kind of my average, to be honest. Uh, well, yeah, of course it's my average because it's my average sale price. But yeah, it's kind of my average whatever I'm listing, to be honest. I always seem to fall in that sort of range, like 16 to 18 pound average sale with postage. Um, so yeah, I do want to try and push that up a little bit more this year. My, my target is for about 25 pound, really, if I can. Um, but yeah, so all these obviously average about 14 pound 50, maybe a bit more. Uh, slightly more and you can see there the total value again this is excluding postage um is 1505.53 so 1505.53 pence of total value that i've added to my store so yeah i'm really really pleased with that really really happy with how it's gone and i'll just flip you around and uh, say goodbye so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i'm really at the moment i'm um very conscious that when I was doing my photography time lapse, I did it on my uh, camcorder and my camcorder cut off. And I'm really hoping that you guys got to see the time lapse. So hopefully my camcorder will still have captured that footage and you will have seen the photography uh, time lapse. But if you haven't, I do apologize about that. Um, but it's just something that's been on my mind for the last few hours. I'm just hoping that's uh, caught it. But yeah, anyway, so I'm really, really happy with how it's gone today. Obviously this challenge, well, if you watch my other two challenges, this one you may think is probably the easiest and 
to be honest, it seems to me like it's been the easiest, certainly the quickest, and maybe not the easiest, but certainly the quickest, uh, the other two were, were a full day of it, so, um, yeah, so next year I'm going to have another challenge, obviously on my birthday again, which I'll probably end up recording on my birthday next year again, uh, like I normally do, um, it might be reselling, it might not be reselling, I've got a few different ideas in mind, um, if it isn't a reselling one, then it will be something to do with exercise, it'll be exercise related, um, and if it is a reselling one, haven't a clue, but I did tease about that swimming uh, on Thursday talks. What what was it like? Five hundred lengths and fifty listings or something. But I think that's a bit too much, so I probably won't do five hundred lengths. But um, yeah, well, you never know. It might be something uh, with that. I might do swimming and listing or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll think. I'll think of something. I've got a year to think of something, and I've already got a few ideas. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your continued to support as always. If you did like this video then please do show your support and uh, obviously like it down below if you haven't already then please subscribe to my channel i do weird and wacky content when, uh, that surrounds reselling and all the rest of it and uh, yeah i will leave it there guys so i'll see you in the next one